it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys, Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. So, we're continuing off exactly where we left off in the last map video. Because um, as I said in the end of that, I was just going to hit stop recording and then hit start recording. That's basically what I did. So, we're going to get going here on these fences. Get these finished off. Uh, we're going to... My goal is to get quite a bit done in uh, this video. Get this outer edge finished for sure. And then start working on some of the uh, inside central ones, I guess you could call it. I actually just got a good idea. If you remember in the last video I was talking about I went on, needed to get different rock piles. Hmm. This looks like a good rock pile. Just resize it. Hmm. So basically just clicking it, exporting it, and then adjusting the texture and re-importing it. Because if I if I edited the, edited the texture for this and then just duplicated these... And then change the texture. You know, like, let's say I made a new texture file, duplicated one of these, went to material editing, material editing, and then clicked add new texture, and then selected that new rock texture. That would change all of these. So you have to export it and import it, so that way it's not recognizing it as this same piece. It's kind of annoying, but... Because everything has the same material, so or same same material name, so it's wanting to make everything have the same texture, even though you don't really want it to. Okay, so now we get to start curving. Yay! <laughs> As you guys probably already know, I really hate doing these fences, but I've said that so many times. But they got to get done. They make it look so much cooler. They make it so much more realistic. Just got to buck up and deal with it, I guess. But it'll look cool in the end. That's all that I want. So I want a cool, cool map. Which is the whole reason that I started making a map in the first place. To make a map the way that I want. Which really, that's how I, that's the whole entire reason why I learned to mod and map, is to be able to make things, make things that other people haven't made that I think would be cool in the game, and also to just be able to do things my own way. So, I really haven't made a whole lot of models, because um, I just need to sit down and mess around in Blender for a while. And get my quality to be a whole lot better. Um, you know, I've been doing a lot with polygonish models, and in doing that, I've been able to learn how to do more things in Blender. You know, like there's all kinds of um, you know uh, tools, I'll say, tools and processes in Blender that you know I never knew before that. You know, in doing these polygonish models, I started learning. Um, I've gotten better at learning how to bake things. So it just, you know, it takes a while to 
learn everything and get good at everything, but then, you know, once you get good at it, it's, you know, free and easy. You know, and the biggest thing is to be able to mess with scripting. That's one thing that, you know, working with these polygonish models has really helped me figure out a lot because, you know, it, scripting is very confusing. You know, I've ma mostly done a lot of, you know, just kind of finding a mod similar to the one that I'm working on and just copying the scripts, adjusting the scripts as needed, and whatnot else. Which really, that's kind of about what it all is for scripting. You know, I know there are some people that they'll sit down and they'll write, you know, a custom script or something, but, you know, me, I'm not, I don't know how to do that yet, you know. And, um, you know, I would like to figure it out one day, yes, but... Not for a while yet. I still got other stuff I need to figure out before I can figure out that. So. I didn't duplicate that already, did I? No. Good. Definitely look, does look cool if you look at it here. It's kind of neat looking. I mean, you know, as I've said many times, it it looks cool. It makes things look nicer. It's just a pain in the butt to do. Because it's so tedious and boring. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all worth it in the end I guess which is really all that matters your end result is what what determines or I don't know I guess your end result is what makes it look the best or something I have no idea what I'm trying to say um, <laughs> but end result is what matters. The process of getting there may be a pain, but just get through it and you'll have an awesome end result. Yeah, we're going uphill now. Just great. And not at very slight inclines either. This is pretty, pretty drastic incline right here. <clears throat> when you do get to the hilly parts of this map, there's definitely hills there. Oh, 2.12, yeah. 
So we gotta slide this post back a little bit here. And when there's little changes in the terrain, it's not that bad. But when there's changes kind of like this, where you really got to do a lot of adjusting, it's kind of a pain. But at least we're going up. When you go down super far, you got to sit and you got to raise this up. You got to move it in. All kinds of other annoying work that... Just takes even longer. But like here, it since it's going up, you know, if it see, you know, here's what it happen what happens when it goes down, so <clears throat> it's kind of annoying because then you gotta sit and adjust. Okay, is it far enough up? You know, it there's a lot more adjustments involved that way. So I'd rather be going uphill all the time, but does not always work like that. I mean, when it's on a flat map, these fences are a breeze. Because you don't have to adjust up and down. You don't have to adjust the wires at all. All you do is you just duplicate, slide, duplicate, slide. That is it. You don't have to do all this other annoying crap. But flat maps are really boring. I mean, this map is relatively flat, but the area where this is at is not known for hills. At least, big hills. In this place, you can see for miles. I mean, I haven't been to Lamore where this is based, but I've been... You know, two cities near it, and it's flat. Flat as can be. I probably should have curved that other one a little bit. Was not thinking. Okay, so now we're just going to go straight until we get up by this field. Um, let's just take this thing. We're just going to go straight over here. So right about in here is where it's going to kind of need to curve back over towards the field. Okay. So now we can take this guy and continue on our way. Maybe we'll turn these just ever so slightly as we go here or something. Okay, so now comes a drastic change. Well, not so much on this piece, but the next one is going to be a very large change. This negative 0.2 is where it's at. So I'll curve this just a little bit like that. That's probably a little more than I need, but we can adjust it again whenever we get over to that other field. And then we 
gotta slide it back a little bit. Yes, yeah, so there's definitely a hill here. Man, seems like we've seems like I've hardly done anything. Even though I have done a lot, but it just seems like absolutely nothing. Because it just takes so many fence pieces to do anything. Of course, you don't want to, like, enlarge these things in any way. Because then they just look ridiculous. You know, if I made these wires, stretched them out, then it'd just look plain ridiculous. In real life, you don't want to stretch your post. Or your, you don't want to have your posts too far apart. See, like now I gotta slide this out a little bit. Which is actually kind of good because now it's right where it needs to be. Bingo! We're getting closer to the corner, which is good. Slide that back just a little bit. So yeah, I did mention this in um, the in-game testing video. But this elevator here, minus the bins, um, is from... Well, okay. So this elevator right here, this is from Random Sparks Media... Random Sparks Media... Um, the it came off of his central valley map uh that he released for fs17 so basically i exported the model except everything except for the la grain leg uh or the grain tube uh and the bins you know basically everything right here uh and then i put it in blender reapplied all the textures for it so that way you know they'd show up here in 15 and then exported it and then I just uh, I then I went back I did go back and export uh, the pipe and then these pieces here as well and then the bins the bins that he had on it are from his 2k subscriber map object pack which is what these are I just used he had um, I forget what brand bins he had on there but I put suck up bins on here instead so that's basically what the story is behind that elevator looks a whole lot nicer than the one that we had on here before i really i like it a whole lot better so
So now we start going down. So when you're going down with these fences, anything under like 0 0.7 or so, then you don't have to worry about moving things down. But anything, like if you go 1, then you got to go down a little ways. Oh, shoot. Um, oh, come on. Got to go all the way up. Gotta go like this a little bit here. Didn't think of that uh, right away before I duplicated. shoot let's try negative one nope 0 0.7 that'll work and then another huge height change I'm beginning to hate this now <laughs> this really sucks holy smokes I'm at negative three and I'm not even there. Wow. Negative five. It's negative four point three. All right. Jeez, that's a huge change. Look at that. Oof, the. We're almost to the end, though. Thankfully. Oy, oy, oy. I'm beginning to think that this is never going to end. <laughs> Holy smokes. Looking at it now, though, there's a long ways to go. Uh, I am going to put these lights in different places as well, like around the elevator and repair shop and all that stuff. Because they do actually come on at night. I want to try and figure out a way to make them brighter, though. Uh, you know, they are fairly bright, but they could be a little brighter, kind of show a little more. So uh, I'm going to mess with that a little, get them to be brighter, but also not make them so that they lag any, um, which is probably going to be hard to do, because I know once you get a lot of lights at night, um, you'll kind of start lagging. I mean, even my computer will start lagging at night if there's a lot of lights going. Down to five minutes, okay. Negative one point one. So maybe we'll be able to get to just the corner in this video if we're lucky. Cause this is crazy. Eight five maybe yeah. 
<clears throat> yeah, this is just plain crazy at how long this takes. Gotta make sure to turn it. Man, just look at the area that we've covered already in like 45 minutes to an hour. Well, probably like, yeah, 45 minutes is probably what it's at for time just on these fences. I should have set a time, set up a timer or a stopwatch or something and timed myself to see how long it took to do all these fences. But I'm not going to do them all right now either. I After this video, I am going to stop and go get um, the other... Let's see, because I have to record this video. I have two videos to record and one video to finish. So get all that done. Get, uh, get my shot cut running, editing these things, and then get some stuff uploaded so getting this stuff uploaded you know because like it's Sunday right now um, well this is actually going up on Sunday so this video I'm recording a week in advance and the you know Getting a bunch of videos, you know, like getting an entire week worth of videos recorded in advance is nice because then, you know, during the day before leaving, I can, you know, I can get a video recorded or whatever or do some off-camera work and not worry about, okay, tomorrow there's a video and I haven't recorded it yet. Am I going to get this done before I leave and whatnot? So um, just getting a week ahead is really helping to make sure that I can just stay on, stay on my normal video schedule on top of work. So making this uh, work out perfectly, which is nice. Um, we'll just angle that one a little bit. We're going to be lucky to get to this corner here in this video yet. We still got a little ways to go. I'll probably end up just like five minutes after the video getting to the corner. I am trying to hurry, just so that way I can try and get to this corner before the end. Maybe I'll have to record just a little bit longer. Nah, I won't. So and hopefully by the time that I record the next video on this, um, of working on it, I'll have this whole section fenced in and then we can work on fields finishing up all the fields which it'll be nice to have all those done too because then comes the fun part of getting creative with farms that'll be fun now, I'm not saying that sarcastically because the farms are actually fun to put together it is kind of fun to you know set those up Oh, we got 11 seconds. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, we are almost to the corner. So, but almost got got it accomplished. But just not quite. Did get a lot done, though. I mean, there is quite a bit of fence there. This will be pretty easy here because it is mostly flat back here. There are a little bit of changes. 
but mostly because it's just it's straight that'll be a straight shot and as well you know like these insides here as well um, so it will be kind of easy to get into that but yeah so guys that's gonna do it for this video if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs my upload schedule as well as links to my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are definitely worth taking a look at thanks for watching you guys and as always we'll see you tomorrow